everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome to week four of the Spring Blossom Throw Crochet Along. This week we are going to be learning how to crochet this beautiful petal stitch square, which uh, you can see the petal stitch design here in front of you in the gray. Uh, this is the fourth square in the Spring Blossom Throw Crochet Along. And uh, all the information for this crochet along and the blanket itself can be found in the description of this video. In the description of the video, you will also find the free written instructions for uh, or link to it uh, for this blossom stitch square. Each of the squares in the blanket measure approximately 10 by 10. The design we're working on today, it's a lacy design, but it has quite a bit of stability. It's similar on the front and the back uh, and it makes a very nice lightweight blanket square. For the project I have been using Karen Simply Soft by Your Inspirations. Today I'll be working in the off-white along with a five millimeter crochet hook. If you're following the design and colors that I'm using in my particular blanket, today you're going to make six squares in total and four of those squares will be in the off-white color and two of them will be in that gray that I just showed you. So let's grab a hook and our yarn and we'll get started uh, crocheting this petal stitch afghan square together. If it is your first time to my channel or you've been here before but haven't yet already, I'd like to invite you to subscribe. This channel is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. So today for our uh, petal stitch square, our pattern is worked in rows. So you're going to start by making your slip knot and work a foundation chain with a total of 42 chains. If you would like to change the size of your square, then you're going to need uh, a multiple, a foundation chain with a multiple of eight plus two stitches. So today I'm going to start by crocheting a chain of 42. Once you have your foundation chain of 42 chains, you're then going to work your first row by working a single crochet stitch in the second chain from your hook. So count in one, two, and then in each chain all the way across. So you're going to have a total of 41 single crochet stitches. Once you have worked a single crochet into each chain all the way across, you're going to chain one and turn your work. For row two, you're going to begin with a single crochet into that first stitch. Next, chain two and skip the next three stitches. One, two, three. Into that next stitch, you're going to work four triple, or some people call them treble stitches. So four triple or treble stitches into that next stitch. Skip three into the next, work four triple stitches. This is going to be your first petal stitch. Next, you're going to chain two, skip the next three stitches, one, two, three, and single crochet into the next. You're now going to repeat chain two, skip the next three stitches, and work four triple stitches or treble stitches into that next stitch. There's 
four, chain two, skip the next three stitches, single crochet into the next stitch. Repeat that all the way across and you're going to finish with a single crochet stitch in your final stitch. I'm working my final single crochet in that second row. At the end of that row, you're going to chain one and turn your work. For row three, you're going to begin. Uh, you've chained one. You're then going to single crochet into that first stitch. Chain three. Skip the chain two space and the first triple. And into that next triple stitch, work a single crochet stitch. So you've chained three, skip the chain two space, skip the first triple, and single crochet into that second triple of your shell. Chain three, skip the next two triples, the chain two space, and single crochet into the next single crochet stitch. You're now going to repeat chain three, skip the chain two space, the first triple, and single crochet into the top of the next stitch, chain three, skip the triples, the chain space, and single crochet into the next single crochet stitch. Continue to repeat that all the way across. work your final single crochet into that single crochet stitch. And that brings you to the end of your row three. For row four, you're going to chain four, and this counts as a triple stitch, and turn your work. Next, you're going to triple into that first stitch. So just at the base, of that chain four into that same single crochet stitch and work one triple stitch. Chain two, skip the chain three space and single crochet into the next single crochet stitch. Chain two, skip the next chain three space and you're now going to work a pedal stitch or your four triples into the next single crochet. So into that next single crochet, work four triple stitches. Chain two, single crochet into the next single crochet stitch. Repeat that all the way across. Chain two, four triple into the next single crochet, chain two, and single crochet into the next single crochet. Repeat that all the way across, working your final, um, the, in the final single crochet, you're going to work three triple stitches. So here at my final single crochet there in row four, and I'm working three triple stitches into that final stitch. Just like so. For row five, you're going to chain one and turn your work. We're now going to work another row of single crochet and chain stitches. You're going to start by working a single crochet into that first stitch into the top of that triple. Chain three and single crochet into the next single crochet stitch. Chain two, 
chain three, skip the chain two space, skip the first triple, and single crochet into the top of the next triple stitch. So it's in the second one of that set. Chain three, single crochet into the top of the next single crochet stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across. When you come to your final set there, you're going to single crochet into the top of the turning chain. So into the chain four of that turning chain. You're then going to chain one and turn your work. Now for row six, you're going to work a single crochet into the first stitch, chain two, skip the chain three space, and work a shell or your four triple stitches into the next single crochet stitch. chain two, skip the next chain three space and single crochet into the next single crochet. Chain two, skip the next chain three and four triples into your single crochet stitch. So repeat that all the way across, working your final single crochet into that final single crochet stitch. Now working my final stitch here in that row six. And this is what my work looks like this far. From here on, you are now simply going to repeat rows three through to six for the rest of the pattern. So until your square measures approximately 10 inches or your desired length. You'll remember that your row three was the chain one, turn your work, and it's going to be a single crochet and a chain stitch row. So single crochet, chain three, single crochet into the second triple of that set, and you're going to continue that all the way across chain three, single crochet, and so forth. So starting with that row there, that row three, uh, and repeat through to the row that we just finished, your row six, for approximately 10 inches. And then you're going to end uh, with your row three, and we're going to do one final row to finish off. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and I'll finish this row three, and then I'll show you your final row to finish your square. chain and a single crochet. So once you've worked your 10 inches, you've finished on that row, your row three, you're then going to chain one and turn your work. And because we started with a single crochet row down here, I ended with one up at the top. So you're going to single crochet into that first stitch work three single crochets into the chain three space and single crochet into the next single crochet stitch. Three single crochets 
into your chain three and single crochet into the single crochet stitch. So repeat that all the way across and then we are going to add a simple single crochet edging all the way around the square just to even it up and make it a little bit easier when we do our crochet join. So go ahead, finish that square, and then meet me back here for the edging. Once you have completed the block for the petal stitch square, I'll have a finished block that looks similar to this one. And what we're going to do for this throw blanket is we're going to work a simple single crochet edging all the way around the block. So you're going to start by taking your yarn and you can use whatever color you would like. I'm sticking with the same color here and you're going to join your yarn with a slip stitch into the top right corner. You're then going to work 39 single crochet stitches uh, evenly all the way across the top of your block. So 39 single crochet stitches as I mentioned in the other videos. You're welcome to change that number. Just make sure that whatever number of stitches you're working across you are consistent and uh, if making this blanket you're working the same number of stitches around each of the blocks. It just makes it a little bit easier for you to crochet them together in the end. So work 39 single crochet stitches across and then meet me back here. When you come to your corner stitch, you're going to work three single crochet stitches into that corner and that's going to bring you around to your next side. Then you're going to evenly work, once again, 39 single crochet stitches along this rough side and uh, there are no clear places to place your hook so you're just uh, making sure that you're working 39 evenly all the way across. Once you come to your next corner, you're going to work 3 single crochet stitches into your next corner work th uh, 39 single crochet stitches across, three single crochets into your next corner, turn your work, 39 stitches across, three in your final corner, and then join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. And that's all you're going to do for the edging. You're then going to, for the spring stitches throw, go ahead and work five more of these blocks. And, um, block them if you desire and uh, then set them aside until you're ready to join all of your squares together. So thank you so much for joining me and until next time, happy crocheting! Bye!